We have some uh, interesting phrases about the word of God in both our readings today. Some descriptive phrases. The word of God continued to multiply and grow. We hear at the beginning of the Acts of the Apostles, our second reading today. Uh, so the word of God, it seems to have a life of its own. It's spreading, it's multiplying, it, it's growing. So to think about the word of God in our own lives in that way too. It's not just something that's static or just kind of neutral there. It expands. It grows. It multiplies. St. Bernard of Clairvaux speaks about the word becoming weightier as we put it into action. It expands in our lives, becomes a weightier force, a weightier factor. It spreads and grows as we put it, as we hear, receive it in faith and put it into action. It grows weightier. In this word of God, they hear as something living and active as they worship the Lord and fast. Right? While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. And completing their fasting and prayer, they laid hands on them and they sent them off. They hear the word and they act on it. And they hear the word in the midst of prayer and fasting, worshiping the Lord and fasting. If you want to know what the Lord wants of you, worship him, fast. You'll hear his voice. Then put it into action. So this prayer, this worshiping of the Lord, this, this fasting puts us in, into tune with him and harmony with him so we can hear him, hear what he wants of us in a particular way, in our own specific situation, in life. When we praise the Lord, when we worship him, we come in accord with him, in agreement with who he is, his plan. We thank him for it. We praise him for it. And our hearts are brought into attunement with his heart so we can hear what he wants. We can know what he wants of us as we ponder his word and it spreads, it multiplies, it grows in our life, this word of God. And the Lord Jesus too speaks of the word almost as if it has a, the life, a life of its own. He's not going to judge anyone on the last day. The word that he spoke will be the judge. Not because he's come to condemn the world, but because that word gives life. And if people don't receive that word that brings life, they're left to death. The word itself will be their judgment. Them choosing death over life. So let's uh, ponder in our own life. You know, this retreat we can see in terms of allowing the word of God to, to grow, to expand, to multiply in your lives. In fact, your whole monastic life, right? Life as Christians can be seen as allowing the word to expand, to grow, to get weightier as we put these words into action. St. Bernard says of the word, he speaks about living for the word and then conceiving by the word, leaning on the word, resting on the word, reposing in the word. All these beautiful phrases about what we have in the word of God, how it is alive and active. How it does expand, multiply, become weightier as we live it out. Living for the word and conceiving by the word. And we're like Mary in this. The word growing weightier. Think about that um, short poem by John of the Cross. The verge about Jesus, about Mary and Joseph looking for a place of lodging. Uh, that Christmas Eve. The virgin comes down the road weighed with the word of God. If only you'll give her lodging. So we want ourselves to our own lives to be more and more weighed with the word of God. That word of God expanding, growing, multiplying, becoming weightier in our lives. You know, what's the weight of your concern? This or that thing? Well, no, cast that out. Allow the weight of your conscious concern to be shaped by the word of God. Have that word weigh in your heart. You put it into action. The virgin comes down the road, weighed with the word of God. If only you'll give her lodging. And when we give Mary lodging to receive the word ourselves more completely, 
Our faith expands as her womb expanded, as the word grows, multiplies, and expands. Our faith expands as Mary's womb expanded.